Fine Art Limited, an art publishing company, is the largest company in the world publishing commemorative fine art. Fine Art Limited has been chosen to create images for promotions of some of the most significant events over many years. One included the largest commemorative art project ever commissioned. The Ellis Island Bar Relief series consisted of 16 relief sculptures. Other projects that Fine Art has been commissioned include the Mark Twain Sesquicentennial, the Anniversary of the Flight of Charles Lindbergh, the Amelia Earhart and Ernest Hemingway commemorations, the 50th anniversary of the March of Dimes, the 200th year anniversary of the U.S. Constitution, the 200th year anniversary of the U.S. Marshals, the last painting by Frederick Remington, and U.S. Olympic events, as well as many others. I'm honored to present to Jay Pulitzer, a descendant of Joseph Pulitzer, to express our gratitude for the efforts of the senior Mr. Pulitzer, which are instrumental into making the Statue of Liberty a reality. Well, congratulations for being selected to, to do that. gather today to unveil a painting, a poster painted by one of the outstanding artists of the world. Active patron of the arts, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm uh, very honored to be here today at this unveiling ceremony. Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island Foundation, to an unveiling of a painting of the Statue of Liberty by world-renowned artist Hiro Yamagata on the anniversary of John Fitzgerald Kennedy's speech, Ich bin ein Berliner. At this time, it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you an Academy Award-winning actor and a really nice guy, and I mean that, Cliff Robertson. Thank you. The lady I'd like to introduce is an example of that, Jean Kennedy Smith. Today, we are fortunate to view the Freedom Painting, a new creation by an artist of extraordinary talent and generosity. Hiro Yamagata has been an unfailing friend to my family. I only wish my brother could be here to see how his vision has come to pass. Thank you. If ever there were an actor's actor, it's my dear, dear friend, Academy Award winner, Rod Steiger. Somewhere around here, President Kennedy stood, and somewhere around here, people died, and I must now fight myself not to become too emotional. May we all one day have complete communication based upon education would let us all, or which would let us all understand that we are indeed one people's, one human stream of life and desire, regardless of our race, creed, and color. Thank you. I'd like to thank Mike Murray of the United States Olympics Committee for helping us to bring the athletes here tonight, and Jack Shar, who is the key, the key reason why we're all here tonight. He is the publisher, the publisher of all of this fine art that you see that was created for the Olympics in 1992. Fine Art Limited is very proud to be here today to unveil for the first time a painting by world-renowned artist Hiro Yamagata to commemorate 500 years of America and the 500th anniversary of the Columbus ships coming back to the United States.
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the United States Olympic Committee, I'm honored to be here today. Fine Art Limited commissions all the art for the United States Olympic Committee and for the 96 Games for the Atlanta Committee for the Olympic Games. He's the one that puts together the financing that helps support the U.S. Olympic team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Deputy Secretary General of the United States Olympic Committee, John Prinsky. So on behalf of the United States Olympic Committee, and particularly to thank Jack Shaw and Fine Art for the great work that they have done, it's a great pleasure to have you all with us today. Thank you very much. Melanie is the first artist to be used by Warner Brothers and the United States Olympic Committee to bring together the Looney Tune characters into the 1996 Olympic Games. The grand opening of the Fine Art Gallery in Buckhead, posters featuring 100 years of Olympics were unveiled. While the original paintings are on sale for as much as 100,000, the poster version costs as little as 15 bucks. Proceeds will go to the Olympic and Paralympic Games. It's a great idea. We're really glad here to have Johnny Mosley today, the top Olympic freestyle skier in the world. Hey Johnny, are things going well for the 2002? Yeah, I'm, I'm on the uh, campaign trail. There is more talent in this room uh, than you will probably see assembled at any one time, uh, just about anywhere. We have a lot of great artists here, and we have another very great person uh, who I think would like to say a, word, a few words before I'm going to share a few thoughts, maybe in, in just a few minutes. Uh, but before I do, Mr. Donald Trump. Well, Tom and, and Howard and all of you folks, Simon, Emilani, uh, this has been unbelievable. I got to witness some of the work, and I'll tell you what, the talent is unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, Clemens Briels. Ladies and gentlemen, gold medal Olympic athlete, Billy Mills. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One of my most, if not my most humbling experience was being invited to participate in the celebration of Ellen Hauser being one of the featured artists at the Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, 2002. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure. This sculpture will welcome athletes from over 80 countries. This is Sacred Rain Arrow. The Beijing Games coming up should be a great one. I've already been over to Beijing, and uh, they're already ready to put on the Games. Uh, Fine Art Limited has been working with the Olympics since 1988. This will be our 12th Olympic Games. And uh, you'll notice at the bottom of all the Olympic posters since 1988, a small Fine Art Limited Chesterfield or St. Louis, Missouri. I'd like to welcome everyone to an unveiling of the 2010 Winter Olympic Games created for the United States Olympic team for Vancouver. We have put together a collection of artists that I think you'll be very happy to see, with Leroy Neiman coming back into the Olympic Games the first time since 1984, joined by Aldo Luongo, Wyland, Susan Summers Luarca, Alexander Chen, and Jane Seymour, and Jesse Barnes, who created an image of the Northern Lights of Vancouver. Fine Art Limited is grateful for the opportunity to join with you in celebrating this historical event honoring your organization. Fine Art will bring a variety of commemorative products that will uniquely capture the spirit and theme of your event. We will bring together the world's finest artists to create special products that will bring greater attention to and lasting memories of your historic celebration. We look forward in developing the artistic products that meet your needs and exceed your expectations.